Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking seafood kimchi jjigae. So let's start cooking. Now we're going to prepare the soup base for the kimchi jjigae. I have with me over here a clay pot with 1.5 liters of water. If you do not have a clay pot, you can use a normal pot, no problem. I've not turned on the flame right now. I just need to mix up all the ingredients together first. Add in six tablespoons of light soya sauce, four cloves of chopped garlic, one teaspoon of black pepper, six tablespoons of Korean chili flakes or chili powder. Add in three tablespoons of gojujang or spicy bean paste, Korean spicy bean paste. Mix up everything well. Once everything has been mixed well, we'll add in our kimchi now. I have with me over here 450 grams of kimchi. Store-bought, just put them in. Add in also 300 grams of soft tofu or one packet of soft tofu. Just slide it by the side. One red onion, sliced thinly, just put it in. Four pieces of shiitake mushroom, sliced. Just put it on top here like this. I will also be adding in three whole potatoes sliced thinly like this. Just slide them in. We'll turn the flame to medium heat. Put the lid on and wait for this to come to a boil. I'll see you back in a while. Our kimchi stew is boiling already. Time to add the rest of the ingredients. I'll be adding in 50 grams of sweet potato vermicelli. If you do not have sweet potato vermicelli, you can always use glass noodles, but do not add them right now if it's glass noodles. If you are using glass noodles, we'll add it when we put in the seafood. Add in also two stalks of spring onion. Just spread them out. Put the lid back on. We'll boil this for three minutes before we add in our seafood. Three minutes is up. Let's have a look. Boiling very nicely. We'll now just give this a taste to decide how much salt we should put in. Wow. Very nice. Just one teaspoon of salt will be good enough. Give it a light stir. Now add in our prawns, 200 grams of prawns. Just slide them in. 200 grams of baby octopus. You can replace this with squid, no problem at all. And also add in 300 grams of clams. We'll be adding in also enoki mushroom, about 150 grams of it. Overfilling with so much goodness. Now we'll turn the heat up to high and let this come to a boil so that we can all cook our seafood together. Before cooking the clams, please soak the clams in salted water for about 20 to 30 minutes to get rid of any sand that's inside the clams. Seafood cooks very fast, so we are just boiling this for three to four minutes and they are all cooked. Time to have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Try a little bit of the broth first. Oh, oh, very flavorful. Tofu, mm. very tender, I love it. Try the clams. Perfectly cooked, very, very fresh. Some of you are very curious that whether we eat clams with shell, um, we actually don't. We leave the head on because it will add flavour to the broth as well as making the presentation looks better. So I'm just going to taste the prawn. I've already dished out the body of the prawn. Taken the shell out. Very flavourful. Mm. I love kimchi stew. A little spicy, a little bit of sourness in this. Very appetising. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video, do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Mm. You want some or so, huh? You, huh?